It had been a slow Sunday afternoon back in 1999 when the boys and I received an alarm through the fire department dispatcher that had been received by telephone and had a lot of details in it. So that suggested that we had a real fire and we responded with urgency. Besides, we were bored. You know, we're kind of, kind of action people, so we were glad to be out and racing to what could be a serious fire. We got to the five-story tenement and I raced up to the fourth floor and there was Kate standing in the doorway, blonde hair, blue eyes, wearing a yellow sundress. She was really cute. Not a puff of smoke in sight, but there was an odor of smoke. So my boys set about trying to find the uh, origin of the odor of smoke. Uh, uh, they, they didn't need my lieutenanting skills for such a, an easy chore, so I kind of hung around and chatted Kate up. Kate was a massage therapist, and the sheets that she used uh, in her massage practice were infused with body oil, and she had just washed her sheets uh, and dried them, put them in a sack, and cinched the sack shut. And what happened is the sheets were a victim to spontaneous combustion. Kate and I kind of spontaneously combusted as well. <laughs> we wound up dating for just a few months, but Kate was also a yoga teacher. And like most men I know that have done yoga, we go to yoga because our wives or girlfriends make us go. I was no exception. Now, I had been fit and athletic most of my life, but yoga came along at just the right time. I was 49 years old, and, you know, the old style of working out was starting to, you know, take a toll on my joints and bones. I was doing, you know, high-impact stuff and weightlifting and things like that, and yoga kind of cured those injuries. And, you know, so the yoga practice, you know, really sang my song. And five years later, after I had retired from the fire department, I found myself in Los Angeles at a nine-week training to become a Bikram yoga teacher, which I still do today. 